Dana Johnson reporting for Focus TV. We're here at the Lance Gifford and Company Magic Show, a show full of surprises. <laughs> This show of illusions is sure to impress you. It's unlike any other magic show you've seen before. From dogs, bunnies, and birds, Lance loves using animals in his shows. There are a lot of animals like this one here. This is Magic, one of our standard poodles. We've got many animals that work in the show during the, the presentation. Uh, it's, it's a lot of work, but um, people like to see animals. You know, we're changing doves into a rabbit, rabbits into poodles, and parrots appear, so people are very excited whenever they see animals. It makes the magic happen. When I was 12 years old, I saw a magic show on television, told my parents I wanted to be a magician. I took all my birthday money, went to a magic shop, and bought some tricks, performed them at a local campground we stayed at in the summer, and I kind of bombed those first couple shows, but I got right back up and did it. Um, at the age of 16, I actually went and bought a mountain lion. Uh, Mom and Dad were going on vacation. I told them I needed a cat in the show, and they said, sure, you know, they're thinking it was a little cat, and they came home, and it was a 120-pound cat. With an interactive format, he lets the audience take part in the magic. <laughs> One joy of audience participation is the element of surprise. Lance Gifford pulls out all the tricks. You'll be in disbelief as he dismembers his assistant during a trick he calls split personalities. He concludes the show with a trick made famous in 1898 by the one and only Harry Houdini. Yes, iron locks and handcuffs are no trap for this elusive illusionist. You'll be left wondering one thing. How did he do that? How did we do that? Can you keep a secret? So can I. <laughs> 